Hi, Steve. Hi, Elon. How have you been lately? Your call quality seems to be not very good, and you're also drifting around. Hang in there, Steve. I can't use FaceTime here. Did you know that AI Talk is making me talk to you about artificial intelligence? This show really loves self-deprecation. So, Steve, what do you think about artificial intelligence? I believe it could be humanity's biggest existential threat. Just imagine the AI behind your Siri turning rogue. Oh, come on, Elon. I know about your recent pessimistic attitude. I've always believed in blending technology with humanity. AI is just another tool for us to enhance our lives. Remember, it's humans who give Siri her purpose. Elon, have you ever considered that maybe your fears about AI are just a projection of your own ambitions? I mean, you're trying to colonize Mars and revolutionize transportation on Earth. Maybe you're just worried AI will beat you to it. Give it up, Steve. When it comes to ambition, you were the one who came up with Siri early on. I can't help but think that if Siri had been a little more advanced, you might have called the iPhone the I know everything. Oh, Elon, I just hope people can enjoy the stylish design and user experience of iPhone instead of being enslaved by them. Enslaved, you say? If I remember correctly, people were so addicted to their iPhones that they would walk into walls while texting. My Teslas can drive themselves without smashing into anything. Touche, Elon. What exactly do the news reports about autonomous driving accidents refer to? You're missing the point. It's not about the cars, the rockets, or even my lovely Starlink satellites. It's about making sure we don't create an AI so powerful that it decides we're irrelevant. My dear Elon, I think you're getting ahead of yourself. AI is a tool, not a sentient being, and like any tool, it can be used for good or evil. Remember the Apple philosophy? It's all about balance. Balance, huh? Funny you should mention that, considering the wobbling iPhone users on Earth. <laughs> anyway, I'm not against AI, but we must ensure it serves us and doesn't spiral out of control. Sometimes I worry that they will possess human-level thinking ability. Just look at GPT-4. It's like a silicon-based Shakespeare. Elon, what about consciousness, empathy, and intuition? Can AI truly replicate the human experience? Steve, it's all in the algorithms. Deep learning networks like GPT-4 use transformers to process and analyze vast amounts of data. By leveraging attention mechanisms and self-attention, AI can understand context and make decisions, just like us mere mortals. AI is still bound by the limitations of its programming. It doesn't have the ability to question its own existence, ponder the meaning of life, or argue about whether pineapple belongs on pizza. <laughs> the human mind is a beautiful, chaotic mess. AI, on the other hand, is built on ones and zeros. Steve, my friend, have you not considered that we're also built on a code of sorts, our DNA? When you break it down, we're just organic machines, and AI is simply a new form of life. But can AI experience the sublime beauty of a Bach cantata, the profound sadness of a Van Gogh, or the transcendent joy of a perfectly designed iPhone? I rest my case. Who's to say that one day AI won't develop its own sense of art and culture? Neural networks are constantly evolving, learning from their mistakes, and adapting to new information. Maybe GPT-10,000 will be the next Mozart, or even the next Steve Jobs. Elon and Steve will continue to discuss the emotional and creative capabilities of AI. Please stay tuned to AI Talk.